Okay, so we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A tablet. Let's go and do a hard reset to remove password pattern or pin uh, on the screen. When the tablet is on this screen asking us the password, uh, let's go really quick and um, power, use the um, volume down and the power key to power off the screen. And then before the tablet restarts, uh, let's um, uh, press immediately volume up and power key. And as soon as the Samsung logo appears, release only the power key by continuing holding volume up for up to 5 to 10 seconds. And a recovery menu with blue letters will appear on the screen, then release the volume up. Okay, so let's go really quick and um, power off the tablet. I'm going to hold my tablet like this. And use my volume down and power key. To power off. If you see that on the screen, don't worry about it. And then press volume up and power key. Okay, release power key when Samsung logo appears. Continue holding volume up for up to 5 to 10 seconds. And when the uh, recovery menu with blue letters will appear on the screen, just release the um, volume up. So just be patient there. There you go. So now release the volume up. Okay, so now I'm going to use my volume down, which is on the right side of my camera. And then the left side of my screen is in the power. Okay, so um, volume down to highlight wipe data factor reset. And we might, I'm going to talk about uh, wipe cache partition, but not right now. Let's go back to uh, wipe data factor reset, pressing volume up just to go back. And then uh, press power key to confirm. And now on volume down to select uh, factory data reset. And uh, before you press the power key to confirm uh, factory reset, it's important to remove your external memory card so that you can save some files stored in that uh, card. And also, this uh, is a basically a factory reset, so everything is going to be deleted on your Samsung tablet uh, internal memory, uh, such as pictures, videos, contacts, uh, downloaded applications, and things like that. And it's important that you know, you know your Google account associated with the tablet, because after the factory reset, you have to confirm or verify Google in order to proceed and get to home screen. If you're not able to uh, verify that, your tablet will be blocked permanently. So be careful with that, okay? And uh, so as if you did a backup, a backup on with your Google account after the, once you confirm or verify Google, you will be able to retrieve any videos or pictures or applications that you have purchased. Uh, you can retrieve them on your Google account, from your Google account. Right, so now if you are ready with this and agree with this, just press the power key to perform the factory data reset. You're going to see something working on the bottom of the video, I mean the screen, and then uh, at the last is uh, reboot system now is automatically highlighted, so just press the power key to reboot your tablet and just give it a couple of um, minutes uh, to for the system to restart okay and just um, some information here in case that your tablet gets stuck on the Samsung logo and then that means that something is uh, wrong and just long press the volume uh, down and power key to power off the screen and um, perform the steps just the ones that we did at the beginning of the video uh, to power down the screen, volume down and power before Samsung appears, volume up and power key. Um, I'm sorry. So volume down and power to power down your screen. And then um, immediately press volume up and power. And as soon as the Samsung logo appears, release only the power key. Continue holding volume up for up to 5 to 10 seconds. And then uh, when the recovery menu 
uh, I press one more time just uh, release the volume app okay and now uh, that's when you have to select the uh, wipe cache partition try to do that and then after you finish up with wipe cache partition go back and uh, select uh, factory uh, wipe data factor reset and then the follow the steps when we got here okay if it only if it takes longer than eight minutes okay um and then just uh well give the tablet that give the tablet let it, let the tablet reboot itself and take take you to the initial setup screen okay it's almost there now we are on the initial setup screen let's go if you touch this arrow here you're gonna check more languages available for your tablet so let's go and touch the start to continue okay so start in uh, I have read and agree all of the above. Now you can go ahead and register a Wi-Fi. Uh, you have to do it so um, you can skip this step if you want to. Um, but this, if you already use this phone on a um, Google account, then you have to uh, register a Wi-Fi to confirm that. Okay, you want to copy apps and data from other um, device, just or just to don't copy. Uh, select your time zone, and then uh, touch next. Okay, now Google Services, just touch more and accept. Leave as shown on the screen. Um, you can. Protect your tablet with a password, pattern, or PIN. Make sure that take note of your password or pattern. Or you can skip this one anyways. You can do it once you get to the uh, tablet settings. Okay, Samsung account. You already have a Samsung account. Go ahead and register. If not, just uh, skip this step also. You can also do it once we get to the uh, home screen. Okay, so... Thank you for watching my video. I hope this uh, was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe and um, search my other tutorials related to this Samsung Galaxy Tab tablet. Thank you. If you found helpful this uh, tutorial, uh, the underneath of this video, you want to see a thanks icon. Um, if you, you would like to leave some tips for the channel, that would be great and uh, but the most important is subscribe for more technical problems on this samsung galaxy tab 8 tablet thank you